Acoustic guitars are a thing that many players, myself included, never really discover for themselves. In my particular situation, I'm a Strat player. I don't own a single guitar that isn't electric or Strat shaped, and therefore I've never owned an acoustic. I occasionally find myself kind of wanting one, but that fades quite quickly when I realize that they're very, very different to play from electric guitars. So if I were to want an acoustic guitar, in my current situation, I wouldn't want to drop a whole lot of money on it. This was 30 euro. <laughs> This is the Phoenix full-size Western Guitar Natural from Amazon. <laughs> Pretty much the entire thing is made of basswood. It has tuning pegs and a bridge. I don't know, this was 30 bucks. I don't, this has no specs to it. What I do have though is some first impressions. Right out of the box, and I unboxed this a few days ago, it smelled like actual piss. That's not a joke. <laughs> this thing smelled like piss. It has nicely filed fret edges, in fact, hold on. My video about Schecter guitars received a lot of harsh criticism, but one thing that everyone seemed to like was the way I tested sharpness on the fret edges using one of these little air pockets. Gonna pressurize it a bit. Nothing on this side. Nothing on that side either. But in spite of the fact that for a while it did reek of urine, this thing seems well constructed. So let's see how it sounds. Full disclosure, I'm a complete amateur at miking up an acoustic guitar. In fact, this is my first time, as I've never owned an acoustic, and I don't intend to keep this one. <laughs> dead frets on it, um, hold on. Yeah, that's pretty rough. So while admittedly the recordings didn't quite do this guitar justice, they already sounded very decent. And honestly that's how I describe this thing, very decent. There was the occasional dead fret on it. But honestly the pros quite outweigh the cons. I spent a few hours playing this thing, I only had to retune it once. The tuning stability on this thing is insane, especially considering that objectively these tuners are basically landfill. This bridge is like disgusting, raw, untreated wood, I don't like that. The back of the neck has like a glossy finish that makes it feel really sticky, but I've seen a lot of acoustic guitars that cost considerably more than this that have that same issue. The nut slots aren't cut too deep, if anything, there's not really nut slots to speak of, because they're so shallow that the strings are just kind of sitting on top of the nut in little tiny ridges. But that means that you can still file the slots to your desired depth, whereas if they were cut too deep, you'd have to throw the nut away and get a new one. But like for 30 euro, even just to buy this for a kid so you don't have to say like wait for your birthday till we get you a guitar, I 100% recommend this. I mean there's many reasons you might want a really cheap acoustic guitar. I don't know if you're going like a festival ground, you want to jam a bit but you're afraid it might be stolen overnight. This is no loss, I've spent more on guitar strings this month than I have on this guitar. So I'll put a link to this guitar in the description if you want it. I recommend this. So, thank you for watching, this is definitely an unexpected result, I'd say. I was expecting to bash this thing, but sometimes things turn out nicely, don't they? So, thank you so much for watching, you can watch me demo the cheapest electric guitar I could find in this video up here. You can subscribe somewhere down there if you feel like it. All my social media, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter is in the description. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, I'll see you next week. Look out!
everything is in shambles. The things I do for content.